everybody, Gabe Suarez here from Suarez International. Today we're continuing with our uh, rifle discussion, uh, and today we're going to be talking about reloading. Okay, now uh, in the past we've we've worked with sneaky bags, we've worked with uh, uh, active shooter bags, we've worked with chest rigs, we've worked with subloads on the legs, all manner of things. Uh, but uh, when when we we're working our drills, we realized you know a lot of times. Uh, you're going to grab your weapon and you're going to go and fight and so on. And you may not have time to access something else and, and deploy it and put it on. So uh, something that we, we did back in the day in the world of SWAT and the MP5 uh, is we had uh, our MP5 magazines uh, attached via a connecting device um, that uh, was available through HK at the time. And, uh, and we thought it was really cool and we used it and uh, it worked really, really great right bolt magazine magazine bolt that sort of thing um, and so I wanted to bring that into the world uh, of the rifle that we're studying and there are already a couple of, uh, of companies that are offering uh, these items um, this particular one is from from Lancer it's designed for Lancer magazines but as you see it works uh, with these uh, these mag pull training bags and again guys what I do is I take the guts out so that when I insert this in the weapon I can work the action over and over and over in training drills um, without the bolt locking open. Okay, so the process is you pick this up, um, it's carried in your conveyance, whatever corner of your office, very small package. Uh, you deploy it and you go to work. You've already got uh, two 30 round magazines downloaded by a couple rounds each, like you should. Um, and uh, you know, this should be more than enough to solve any problem that you should face here stateside. Uh, again, the process is you're up here, you're working your drills, uh, you realize you're running low. I like to bring the weapon up here into my line of sight. Simply exchange magazines. Remember, insert seat tug if you need to. Run the bolt one more time, and then you're back on target. Okay? Very simple to do. It's the fastest possible reload available. Uh, and, and I think this is what we're going to focus our, our work on, okay? Now, very uh, nice package that's available from our friends at Magpul is this MagLink, okay? Uh, I found this at our distributors, and, uh, you know, I went and, uh, and bought a couple, and we've been working with them a little bit, okay? Very easy to work with, uh, and, uh, you know, again, now I've got a nice little payload here. Uh, you know, and it's nice and secure, okay? Now, uh, about these uh, mag bottoms here, okay? I've got these on all of my 300 blackout because I've got 300 blackout weapons, I've got 5.56 five, weapons, and as you know, the magazines feel exactly the same, look exactly the same. So for me, if I grab a magazine and it's got this Ranger plate on it, I know that it's a 300 blackout. My uh, 5.56 five, magazines do not have this feature. That's just to differentiate between the two in a dark place uh, when I don't have uh, visual and so on, okay? Uh, so anyway, this is kind of what we're doing. I think it's pretty cool uh, because I am a capitalist. All of this is available at the store right now, Suarez International. Come and get your stuff, man, because the world is getting weird and, you know, those, uh, those usurpers that stole the election want to come and take all this stuff away from you. So get it before they make it illegal, all right? 